Great. Right, so I put these back in. Yeah. So, yeah, a little. Oh, yeah, you've got a bit of assembly in the middle of the face. So yeah, as said, you'll need to recheck these sappets, but we're just going to do yeah. a very basic check for now um, to confirm a few things. So, was it our top dead centre of the way? Yeah. Okay. Do you need the so, um, measurements? So this will confirm because we're top dead, so we're rocking number two. You can see, yeah, exhaust closing, yeah, intake opening. So that means set these two. Do we need in inches or millimeters? Uh, thou, please, inches. So this is 0.25, uh, which would be that's 10. That's 004, 0.004. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, set gold, early. Mm -hmm. It's very tight, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Okay, for what we're doing, just for now, I mean, I personally would recommend you to set them a tad looser than that. Okay. When you find a run till everything's bedded in. But. Just showing you can get to that tolerance, is that right? Yep, correct. Yeah. Because we've changed the valve heights around a yeah. bit. So I think we were a very cute little four wheel spinner. I know you've probably got a special tool for this, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, I have. And 11. That's a very cute spanner. Yeah. I'm surprised it looks like something you get in a cracker. Yeah, except it costs more than a box of crackers. Obviously, it's snap on. Yeah. So we're just going to nap, just to do our checks. They've done all right for themselves, haven't they? So. Yes, when you're using something day in and day out and you're not retiring any time in a hurry, that makes it worthwhile. Yeah. As is a lot of things. Do you sealant, but do you use sealant or do you so put a bit of film or oil on it or do you just put it on dry? The thing is that uh, cork is semi porous anyway, yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but we have to use it. Um, so I typically use a glue and glue it to the cam cover, 
Right. Use a contact adhesive, like okay. a trim glue. Yeah. Because when you're doing a service, yeah, pull it on and off, and it stays, stuff, yeah. it stays with the cam cover, okay, and it's dead easy. Um, Does it need to be oil resistant? I assume the glue, or not really? It's, a, it's just there to hold it in place while you're doing it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm typically just using a trim glue. A lot of people argue with me about that one, but I'm just saying it's a service item and it's cork, so. Yeah, but then it's trying to get it off the head after you glued it on. Uh, well, this is why I use trim glue. Because it just peels oh, off. Light, light, con like you contact put, adhesive. Like you put for a carpet or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, precisely. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. My boss put me onto that, and many a new hand would start and argue with it. We all got converted to it after a while. Because you're not sealing anything, you're just trying to make it easy on yourself. Yeah. Right, so that was, so I've wound it again 180, yeah. rocking on number one, we've set two. I haven't tightened off, but you're going to be fitting the correct nuts yeah. anyway, we're just nipped. Might get an end plate for that one. Uh, I've got a little shim I can put in there. Oh yeah, so do you have any shims? Yeah, I do at home, yeah. Okay, so yeah, might want to introduce another one there. Yeah. Um, sometimes you it can... It's quite blockery and quite tappity in there. Yeah. Yeah, it is a float through, so it will Okay. Be. So we're just looking for clearances here. Yeah. Sometimes your rocker will hit here. Yeah. If you get what I mean, these arms. Yeah. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. Yeah. Check them right the way through. Now we're here. Got lots of clearance there. Correct, that one's opening. And then this one's going to come up now. So maximum lift, we have clearance under here. Mm -hmm. Good. And we've got one more to check. And we're not hearing those valves hitting the... Uh... No. So another thing is checking pushrod tube clearance. Yeah. Seem all right. A little bit tight. Yeah. But it's pretty standard. There's not really much you can do yeah. about that. No, it is where it is. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, as discussed, we could be plaster seating yeah um, we're not running a high lift cam yeah so it's you're slightly higher than normal but okay not it's nothing radical yeah uh, so while we're here um, I mean this is a tried and trusted combination of parts yeah uh, typically if it was outside of your comfort zone you'd be checking you'd be head on plasticine so and so yeah, and yeah. so but you're well aware of your part supply yeah um, so now we're just going to give it a quick leak down test. Okay. To make sure there's no leaks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'll grab that kit right this second. One thing a minute. Oh, that kind of uh, leak down. Yeah. Sorry. Is that different from compression test because we're not actually turning the engine over? Yeah, right. correct. Okay, but it does a similar thing, I assume. Similar thing, just a bit more uh, sort of accurate. It's easier to just. Oh, this is accurate, more accurate. Oh, hang on. The engine's turning over. Uh, because we're pumping it with air. Yeah. So we can, if there is a loss, we will know exactly where the loss is. Okay. Opposed to, opposed to just having a number in front of you that kind of doesn't really help you. Right. Do you need to hold it? Uh, no, because, is there a timing mark on here? Um, oh, there we go. There to, uh, There's nothing on the pulley? No, it's on the case. Ah, okay. Sorry, I'm on the case. Do you want the case? No, no, it's all right. I'll do it. It's here. Okay, why not? We can just put on there and we've cleaned all of this out. I've cleaned it, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just to keep the so just, just to hold it in place. Okay. It depends where it should be, right? <laughs> I'll just put it on generally, but... I don't know if it should be there or... Yeah, no, no, that's it. 
Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you by hand. No, 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 that's simple enough. Well, if you can transfer this one across your front, will you? That one. That's what happens when you buy cheap ones. If you're any way off, then it will want to turn the engine off. But well, typically, if you're on top, top, dead center, it doesn't allow it. It will hopefully hold it there. And if not, we'll have to get a oh, break or hold it. Yeah. If you want. Okay. So this is good. Okay. Good. Um, Twenty percent. You can hear it coming up from under there. Yeah. Rings aren't bedded in. Right. Okay. So. Yeah, and we just got a bit better. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So if you had your head gaskets leaking, you'd be hearing it out of here. Right. If you had leaky valves. You'd hear it through there. Yeah, yeah, you'd be hearing it out of okay. there. You've got a little bit of a leak out of there, but that's just normal sort of stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, good, good, good. And in, terms, in terms of running in the engine, how would you do that? Well, you're running a new cam, right? Um, so this is a very controversial. So the safest way is to do it an engine dyno. That's not going to happen, is it? Is that <laughs> no. Uh, so I'm typically running. How much oil does this thing take? Three liters. Three liters. Okay. Yeah. So I'm typically running a running in oil. Okay. Um, and then because you're running flat tap at camshafts, new cam, new lifters, that's the risk, is that you eat your camshaft and run in. Right, okay. So then I'm adding a run in additive as well. Okay. Which we have a bottle of, we could, we could part with a few mil of it. Okay. Um, so I would typically be two and a half thousand RPM for 15 minutes, just tick over. Right. Um, we could just do that through the, I mean, just do that through the kind of opening the yeah often you just put a screwdriver in yeah the, yeah in the carb um although i've got no, i've got no view of what the revs are by the way so okay no real cab. so we could uh lend you a multimeter that'll tell you that or we could yeah a timing light would tell you that okay you should also be checking the timing before you do that yeah um the theory behind that is that because it's revving you're slinging oil over onto the camshaft. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't really get oil. Right. Okay. At like at an idle. Yeah. Um, the other risks of idle, running it without being loaded is you glaze the rings. Right. But that's where your special oils come in. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I've never heard of running in oil. I didn't realise there was such a thing. So. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and that that'll be okay with an older engine, will it? As well, the yeah. Running in oil. Yeah. Well, you, could, you could probably get a Miller's. Yeah. Classic running in oil. Yeah. Okay. But I'll use that in classics. But uh, yeah, you'd probably find something a bit more suited to this. But you want to change the oil after a short yeah. time as well. Don't short you? period, yeah. I mean, these don't run a filter. The centrifugal. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So you probably want to be changing it after your first bed in, but then it can start adding up on oil costs. Yeah. So that's a tough one. Sometimes you can dro bothered, drop it and check it and cost. sieve it. Yeah. Um, so it's a massively debated thing. Uh, I think I sort of stood alone in this and then country. You just, on don't, the you just don't rev it very hard, like for the first few hundred miles, right? Yeah, you got to load it. You don't want to get stuck in traffic. Yeah. I think idling is more of a risk than. Yeah, right, because it's starved, oil starved. Yeah, yeah, and you just need to be loading it up. And uh, I wonder whether I didn't run the other engine in properly, and that's why the, the uh, 
I've got that oil pressure problem. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, the running in oil, the running in is more of a risk to glazing the rings, right, and running in the camshaft. Okay. So same again, down yeah, at ten percent. Awesome. Not coming out. Of Yeah. So it sounds aggressive, but it should come out the rings as yeah. it normally would for a pretty low reading, so okay. So it's always worth doing this check now, because you'd rather discover out we've broken a ring now <laughs> yeah. than when you're in the car. Yep. Uh, but not not so many builders would do that. I just